This program is brought to you in association with First National Bank of Botswana. FNB, how can we help you? Welcome to First Issues. The festive season is a time of coming together where families celebrate the milestones of the year. Much is spent on food, travel and apparel. One could also say that the glee of the season makes some people unintentionally throw caution out the wind, making them more susceptible to praying scammers and fraudsters who thieve on unsuspecting individuals, especially during this time. Each year, millions of people are swindled out of millions of their hard-earned cash by thieves. While there are systems in place to catch them red-handed, the thieves seem to always be one step ahead, coming up with cleverer, more smarter ways to con people out of their monies. While technology is also advancing, the crimes are becoming more sophisticated and daring, with some now in the financial investment area. While we are aware of the pyramid schemes, the WhatsApp Messenger Motelo, the credit or debit card cloning, the virtual wallet scams, and of course phishing, scammers have now come up with the Mofiwa building project and Crowd1 scams. We invited a man who deals with these at his day job, consumer activist at the Consumer Watchdog, Richard Harriman, who explained to us exactly how these scams work and how you as a consumer can protect yourself against these fraudsters. This is the time of year when I think people are a little bit more vulnerable. Um, I think in particular this time of year in 2020, having gone through what the last is it eight months of of COVID and lockdown and all of these things, I think we're actually more vulnerable now than we have been ever before. And I'm seeing more and more people falling for these things and more and more scams coming up. And I, do, I genuinely believe this is deliberate because I think the scammers realize that we are all a little fragile at the moment. We're all stressed and all anxious. And so I think we are a little bit more vulnerable than we have been in the past. But there's a whole lot of them going around right now. Uh, there's one which is remarkably popular, calling itself Mufiwa Building Projects. Mm -hmm. And it seems to be based in South Africa. And it, it's a fairly standard scam in that you pay to join and then you recruit other people. The thing that's smart about this one is it, they claim to be a building program. They claim that if you make, make the, the few hundred Pula donation just to join the scheme and then recruit other people, you will, within a matter of a very short time, have enough money to build your own house. And isn't that something we all want to do, all want to find the money to do that, but without a bank loan, without going to cap in hand to, the, to a lender to borrow a huge amount of money, they promise this miraculous amount of money that you just get just by joining the scheme with a few hundred pula and then miraculously reaping um, fantastic returns. I've joined various WhatsApp groups relating to Mafiwa building projects, and the message is always the same. It's just about recruitment. There's no investments, there's no, it's not Bitcoin, it's just recruiting other people. I actually asked a couple of people in WhatsApp groups, isn't this a pyramid scheme? Yes, they said. Several of them said, yes, it's a pyramid scheme. So people should be warned about that, but it, it's, it's clever because it, it taps into something we all want, which is property. We all want to own our own home. Um, so it, it appeals to, to that element uh, of us. Interestingly, there's another one right now that's been going for quite a while called Crowd One. We yeah. first warned people about Crowd One over a year ago when it first started. And they make the very simple claim that it's, again, it's international, but it seems to be South African based. Um, if you join with 1,800 Rand, they say you will get a monthly salary, and joining 1,800, monthly salary of 66,000 Rand. Um, now they claim this is based on educational products, although it turns out there aren't any. They give you a few PDF documents that you can get for free on the internet. Uh, but again, it's all about recruitment. It's the same old thing, but it's it's a more novel one. Um, as I say, we warned about them, but the big thing that happened was about three or four days ago, the BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation, did a massive expose of them. And there's a, there's a thing, the BBC Africa, you can click on their website and they'll show, there's a program you can watch where they expose Crab One. They expose the fraud that it is. They talk to some of the victims of it. And I think as a result of the BBC program, you're now seeing the scam collapsing. There was a story from Kenya yesterday saying it's collapsed. 
I think we're seeing the end of, of crowd one, which is, in a way, it's a good thing because it will stop them scamming for other people, but it's a bad thing. And a lot of money, a lot of people have paid a lot of money to join this. It's, mm. I, th I think you see the life cycle. The fuel building projects is still going, but eventually it will do the same thing as crowd one is doing. It'll be exposed. People will understand and the money will dry up and a lot of people will be left very poor and very upset. How do they differ from all the other scams that are well known? Is there anything that sets them apart? There is one we saw just a matter of days ago, which is slightly different to the norm. It was, mm. it started for, to be quite a traditional one. It was a romantic scam. Someone contacted us saying they befriended someone on Facebook and now it was a romantic relationship with this guy on Facebook and he was going to send her a package. We, you've heard this before. There's a package, it gets held up in customs, and you have to pay for it to be released. We've all probably heard this many, many times before. But the difference with this one was she got a message from someone saying, I'm a customs agent, your pa the package from your boyfriend has been delayed. But instead of saying it's in Cape Town or it's in Joburg, he said, it's at the Sirexikama International Airport. It's here in Botswana, and you need to pay some money to release it using orange money. So not Western Union to somewhere who knows where. This is a romantic scam being run from Botswana. Mm. And it's a combined, there have been various scams with orange money, there have been scams with these romantic stories as well. This was a new one that actually was a surprise to me. We seem to have our own homegrown scammers these days. And that's something new. And I do, I do think it does go back to the COVID experience, that scammers are more desperate now. We, most of us have a little less money than we had a year ago uh, because things have been tight, things have been hard. But even the scammers are being a bit more innovative right now. And of course they have the new technology. I mean, we're doing this conversation online, so can scammers do these things online? Yes, yeah. it's great that we're saving time and money and petrol uh, in not going to meet so many meetings, but it also means the scammers are you going to use these technologies? Uh, and they will be exploiting the fact that because of COVID, because of the experience of the last eight months, we're all a little more anxious. We're all a little bit more depressed. We're all a little bit more, as I said, fragile and vulnerable. And I think it's even more important than before that we look after our friends and our neighbors and our relatives and our colleagues and be and spread that skepticism and make sure people don't fall for these these scams anymore and don't and particularly approach the vulnerable people let's look after our vulnerable brothers and sisters Business means. Where did I put that receipt? We can help you with instant accounting, free software that does your bookkeeping for you. <laughs> when running a business means. Wait, why do you mean the container hasn't arrived? We help protect your business from risk with Mohwebi Insurance. And when it means. How do we pay our staff that don't have bank accounts? We help you make multiple payments directly to people's phones with e-wallet bulk send. At FNB, we're constantly innovating to help business owners at every stage of their journey. Welcome back to the program. We continue our conversation on the latest investment scams on the market. We ask our guest Richard Harriman what should be at the back of a person's mind when they are presented with these financial promises that seem too good to be true. There are several lessons and I've been trying to make these lessons as simple as possible so that it sticks in the mind. One of them is anyone who asks you to join their money-making scheme, anyone who asks you to join a scheme to make money wants to make money from you, not with you. They're not sharing an opportunity. You are the opportunity. You are the one they want to exploit. You are the one that makes them some money. So anyone who wants you to join the money-making scheme wants to make money from you, not with you. Also, don't believe the unbelievable. If your bank's gonna give you 5% interest in a year, if you're lucky, 
don't believe someone who says it will be 5% a day. Don't believe someone who says it will be 20% a month. And many of them do do, they use figures like that. It's 5% a day. 5% sticks in our mind from the bank rate. It seems, the sim but it's a day. That means it's a million percent plus in a year. It's simply unbelievable. 20% a month is unbelievable. Don't believe the unbelievable. And don't believe total strangers. There was actually a warning from the police about scammers who are stealing money from people and they're sending money and people are losing hundreds of thousands. One person apparently lost 500,000 pula to a total stranger because they thought they were buying equipment from them, but they'd never shaken this person's hand. They'd never seen them online. They'd never seen a reference from a previous customer. They'd never seen a legitimate bank account or bank reference. Don't send money to strangers. And I've warned in the past about using money transfer systems like Western Union and so on. It's not just Western Union. Very often what scammers do is they say, send money to me in my, my bank account. And they give a legitimate bank account. That's very often the bank account of a previous victim. They get the victims to operate as their collection agents. So when you join my scheme, money will pay to you so you can pay it to me. They're using a legitimate bank account to look legitimate, whereas in fact, it's the bank account of another victim. Mm. So please be skeptical about strangers. You need to be incredibly careful these days. Yes, the internet is amazing, social media is amazing, but it has provided the scammers with tools they can use to scam us much more effectively than they did in the past. You were just speaking of the police and I want us to talk about um, law enforcement or punishment for these scammers. How extensive do you think um, the law is in protecting people who've been scammed? The good news, and I might be repeating something that Kate has said or will say, but um, we now have the 2018 Consumer Protection Act and that has provided us as consumers uh, with significantly greater protections. Section 9 of the Consumer Protection Act offers us something that we've never had as a country before. That section says that pyramid schemes, and it defines pyramid schemes quite clearly, and Ponzi schemes are now illegal. Mm. Promoting a pyramid scheme or promoting a Ponzi scheme is now punishable by a fine of up to 100,000 pula, five years in prison, or both. It could be 100,000 pula and five years in prison for just promoting a pyramid scheme. And it goes a lot further. It, that's, many countries have that provision in their law. Our law now goes one stage further. The same fine, 100,000 pula, the same term in prison, five years or both, can go to someone for just joining a pyramid scheme, just mm. joining a Ponzi scheme. Knowingly joining such a scheme is now illegal and you will go to prison for as long as the person promoting it. And that I think is, was a little surprising to begin with, but that's really good. It now makes it scary to join a pyramid scheme or a Ponzi scheme. You too could, might be, end up sharing a prison cell with the person who promoted it and recruited you. Yeah. Do you really want that? As well as losing your money and losing all your friends and your family and the embarrassment. And let's not forget these things are deeply embarrassing when they collapse. It's, we now have a legal framework that is a lot stronger and a lot stronger than many other countries as well. So I think that's a really good thing that we now have that protection. First Issues contacted Mufiwa Building Project's office representatives in Botswana for a comment. Our efforts to get that side of the story proved futile as the representatives failed to answer our direct questions about that venture. Hello, May. Yeah, about the interview, or let us say your side of the story. Nerikilera buyale re Richard Harriman wako consumer watchdog because ene o talo sa ha mufiwa building project e le pyramid scheme e bile e le some sort of scam. Jano haki tsoko re a lona le ka talo sa jan store sa lona kora le rehe. Um, 